finally getting around to doing some testing today. Some of these things have been in my position for a while. I apologize but for being so long. These are some uh, spliced Kernmaster. There's Carabiner Snap. Some other, I think those are some hand sewn eyes and a press -a cord. Here's an information sheet on those things. You can pause the video if you want to take a look at those things. A little close up. And some more hand sewn eyes. Here's a couple of uh, bridges. And uh, some more hand sewn eyes. And a hitch climber pulley. All right, when I'm doing my testing, I'm going to use this screw link. It's generally got a 12 millimeter size pin, this shackle. I've modified it. It has a 12 millimeter pin. Some of the heavier stuff I might do with this big shackle. It's got uh, about a 22 millimeter pin. This was a sewn eye. Broke at about seven, over 7,300 pounds. And they normally, and this would include also normal splices, but you'll see them normally break around the throat of the splice or the sewn eye. And uh, so the splice is not breaking, but the cordage breaks. And the closer we can, or the further we can get the cordage to break away from the eye, I think uh, the stronger we get a bigger number. So you can see this one started to open up a little bit right there. But so here is a sewn pattern. You can see it's got a similar number of stitches but you can see where I've angled the stitching so that I've left this part where it normally breaks. I've tried to leave that as undisturbed as possible so that um, maybe we'll get a bigger number. We'll see. So that one looks similar to the other one. And this one, it did come further down. It had a higher number, not a big amount though. And it basically comes down until it finds a place, some place where it's been disturbed but that was almost what 70 700 pounds getting pretty close to the rated strength of this cordage or this rope Okay, Santiago, this is number seven. interesting it really kind of wet let go in a weird way but the maximum was 3450 pounds next one is what is that number six a Samson class one double braid all right this is number six it's a Samson class one double braid on the Kern master 11 millimeter Look at how much, I mean that was a, a whole turn around my drum there where the cover came off and then finally the strength of the core picked in and there's where, there's where the splice went.
Anyway, a lot of a lot of core came back. I mean, a lot of cover. A lot of cover peeled peeled back. Peel on that one. That's weird. And it broke at four thousand eight hundred and three pounds. All right, number eight has a five-inch taper. This is number five, has a five inch taper. Well, that one broke at 3,772 pounds, and in spite of just one turn, it broke at the stopper knot. So, we'll have to sew, a, sew an eye on there to give it another pull. This is a retest of number five. Number five is a five inch taper. And so I can feel where it goes all the way down there. And then I've sewn a testing sewn eye down here. Anyway, we'll pull this and try to get a, another reasonable test on the splice. It looks like everything's in place where it was. Nothing's been stretched out. Okay, that's what number five looks like. See, this is either number six or number nine. Anyway, I think I thought I did number six. So this might be the Samson class one double braid. Okay. We give this the four wraps around the drum. This one, I watched it, um, that was a couple of turns, this, and so, and you can see where it's flattened out and pulled really tight, but this is where it started to break around the drum, and that's interesting, it has a bit of the cover in between, it broke in two places on the cover, and then the splice, this one broke at 4,400 pounds. Um, so you can see the oh, how's that? This is going to be a hand sewn eye on velocity, eleven millimeter velocity, and it's from a retired lanyard. It's got a couple picks in there. Other than that, it doesn't feel like it's too bad a shape. We'll give that sewn, hand sewn eye a good pull. <laughs>
and the eye, that hand sewn eye didn't break. It didn't take a lot, it was 2,665 pounds for that velocity to break. Alright, this is a hand spliced section of velocity. I don't know a lot more about it than that. It's used. I've got a sew an eye on the other end, but.
Alright, that broke at 8,990 pounds. And you see it didn't take very long to break. As you find on Rescue Randy, it was sent to me because the gate's not closing properly anymore. Seven thousand one hundred and let's see if you can make sure seven thousand one hundred and fourteen pounds.